Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at the all new Asus ZenBook A14. This is the world's lightest Copilot Plus PC. This model only weighs 899 grams, and this is the Snapdragon X Plus edition. This is everything you get in the box, a leather pouch. You're gonna get the power adapter and charging cable, and also some documentation uh, for the actual laptop as well. So on the side here, we're gonna get a HDMI 2.1 port. We also have two USB 4 ports, these are your Type-C uh, connections right here, two of those. And we also have an audio combo jack there and a power indicator on this side. So in theory, you could connect three external 4K displays to this laptop using the two USB 4 ports and the HDMI port. Now those two USB 4 ports can support up to 40 Gbps data bandwidth, which is very good indeed. Now Asus are using a new easy lift hinge which reduces the operational force by 90 grams. This also ensures smoother opening and closing of the lid while enhancing the durability of the hinge. The new hinge mechanism also means that the display remains steady and wobble free during use, which means if you do a lot of typing, this uh, laptop's gonna be ideal. Now also on this side, we do have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A port on here. So what keeps this laptop under one kilogram? Basically the whole laptop is made of ser aluminum and it's applied to the entire chassis, the lid, the keyboard, the frame and the bottom of the case. It's a new high tech ceramic and it's also lightweight, scratch resistant and shock resistant and smudge free. The one I have in my hand is from Asia. So it's an Asia Pacific version, which is sold in Asia and it is 899 grams because it has a smaller battery capacity on this one. On the bottom, we have that ventilation area and there's also this long rubber uh, strip here along the top part of it and also at the bottom here as well to help it uh, sit nice and evenly on the countertop and it'll stop it slipping. There's your speakers right here as well. We will take a look inside in a second. This is the Zabrinsky uh, beige color. There is an Iceland gray as well, which you can purchase. Now, if you're wondering whether the uh, laptop hinges will allow you to lay the screen all the way flat to the desk, it doesn't. This is as far as it will go back. So we have the Snapdragon X and the X Plus. I think there's two X Plus editions. I'm using the X Plus edition. It has a 48 watt hour battery in there. It also has 28 watts of chipset power. You can see here light dual fan thermal solution. Now the actual Snapdragon Elite Edition has a 70 watt hour battery in it with up to 32 hours of video playback on it. That's the higher end model, but that also has a 45 watt chipset power. All models have Wi-Fi 7 and they're all under one kilogram, but the Elite Edition has a little bit more weight because of the battery size. So let's take a look at the actual screen itself. You can see we do have those true blacks. They do look really nice on this particular panel and the side viewing angles are pretty good as well. Now what you can expect from this is up to 32 hours of offline video playback and also up to 19.5 hours of web browsing with up to 28 hours of online video streaming as well on this particular laptop. We'll take a look inside the actual laptop in a bit, but you may be wondering what the cooling is like on this. It's pretty decent and also under 25 decibels during light workloads. So that's in whisper mode as well. So it's really, really quiet. If you do like a quiet laptop, this is definitely the one for you. Let's take a look at the specifications of this panel. It's 16 by 10, 14 inch full HD, 1920 by 1200 Asus Lumina, OLED display with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. Also that VESA display HDR 600 True Blacks on this as well with 600 nits peak brightness with 1 million to 1 contrast ratio with a 0.2 millisecond response time. It emits 70% less blue light with this particular panel as well, which will protect your eyes if you're staring at the screen for long periods. Now you can expect a comfortable typing experience with the ergonomic touchpad and keyboard on this particular laptop. It really is nice. You've got a 19.05 millimeter pitch with a 0.1 millimeter dish shaped on the keys itself with a 1.3 millimeter key travel. There's a bit of flex in the keyboard here as you'd expect with such a lightweight uh, laptop here, but it does have smart gestures and you can control the brightness, the volume, the video playback adjustment and stuff like that. So it's a pretty decent sized touchpad here. It's very responsive 
And I do actually like this uh, touchpad and keyboard layout for this particular laptop. So if you are one of these people that do a lot of typing, then this keyboard is pretty nice to type on. There's no screen wobble and that's due to the new hinge design that ASUS have done on this laptop. And you can see the Copilot Plus key on the keyboard as well. Now, if you're one of these people that type in a low light room, then you do have a backlit keyboard, which is gonna help you to be able to see the keys if you need to look at the keys when you type. So this is also a nice added bonus. And if you wanna change the brightness to the backlight keyboard, then you can do by changing the backlight here. You've got your function keys all up the top for this laptop, and you can even turn off the backlight if you wanna save power as well. Let's take a closer look at the bezel here. You can see we do have the OLED HDR Nano Edge display here, and there is that little plastic uh, bezel down the edge here on this particular model. Up the top here, we do have a web camera here. This is a 1080p full HD infrared camera on here as well. So this sort of camera is gonna be ideal for uh, Zoom meetings and things like that. If you need to do conference calls, it's gonna be ideal for that. There's a bit of flex on the actual screen itself. It does move a bit because of the thickness of it, but for Zoom meetings and things like that, or other sort of meetings that you need to do where you need a camera, it's gonna be ideal. And you can see we do have that Snapdragon uh, processor inside here as well, which is, we'll go into more detail on that in a second. But if you're looking for a portable lightweight uh, laptop that's pretty powerful, that's gonna do everything you need, this is gonna be ideal for you. So we'll take a look here at the flex on the screen. I wanted to quickly show you here how flexible the screen is. It is quite flexible because of the lightweight design of it. It's gonna have some flex in it if that's concerning to you that I just want to show you that there. And there's also a bit of flex on the keyboard and on the back of the lid as well. Let me just show you here as well. So you can see there is the flex here and it's very lightweight, but it is quite robust as well. There's hardly any wobble there at all, as we've discussed earlier. Again, being an ASUS laptop, you're going to get your My ASUS uh, software installed here, which is your one stop portal for all your ASUS needs. If you need to do system updates, system diagnostics, or device settings, you can do that all inside here. You can see your battery life here as well. You've also got other uh, access to other tools in here where you can see your fan speeds here as well, controlled all of that inside here. So if you've never used uh, ASUS before, this inbuilt software that they put on all their laptops is very useful. It gives you full control here. You've got battery care here, You've also got your sound modes here you can change as well. The specs on this one here is the Snapdragon X Plus. This is the new Qualcomm Orion processors that you can get with these Copilot Plus PCs. This one is the X1P42100. So that's an eight core processor with eight threads with a clock speed of 3.4 gigahertz with the Exigon MPU up to 45 tops on this particular processor. The GPU on here is the Andrino X145, which is an integrated chip with a clock speed of 280 megahertz at 1.7 uh, teraflops. And you can also see here, we do have a one terabyte drive in here. And this is a one terabyte PCI Express 4.0 NVMe drive in here. And we have the 48 watt hour battery in here, which means it's the Snapdragon Plus edition. Remember the Snapdragon X Elite editions has the 70 watt hour battery. But remember there's different variants of this laptop, which come with different processors and different memory capacities inside them. So bear that in mind, depending on which one you go for. And of course, if you're going for a higher processor, with more memory it's going to cost more money here we have the cooling system which helps the system stay cool and quiet and you can hardly notice the actual laptop is on because it's that quiet so again if you're looking for one with more memory you can purchase one with more memory i think these are the memory modules here this one has 16 gigabytes of memory but if you purchase the Snapdragon X Elite version uh, processor you will get the 32 gigabytes of memory on that system. They are surface mounted, but LPDDR5X memory is low power double data rate five times memory, which offers the best performance and also best power efficiency compared to LPDDR5 and LPDDR4X memory. So it's a lot more efficient and powerful. And of course you do have that nice uh, cooling system here where it's gonna help uh, pull the heat away from the processor and the GPU here. It's gonna pull it up through that 
a copper pipe and then blow it out the exhaust out the back. Now, if you need to replace the battery here, all you need to do is pull the power cable out and basically undo all of these screws here. And this will allow you to replace the actual battery and also the drive as well. You can see the speakers on the side here. These are your super linear speakers, which give super clarity when you're playing movies and music. And it also offers Dolby Atmos support as well. Give you a quick rundown of the specs here up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X and that runs at 8,533 megahertz but that is only on the uh, Snapdragon X Elite versions. Now remember the memory can't be upgraded so make sure you buy the right version with the amount of memory that you need on your particular laptop. So if you need more than 16 gigabytes of RAM don't buy the base model you'll need to go for the higher end model. The one terabyte PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD drive that can be upgraded but the worldwide model with the Snapdragon X Elite version that does have that 70 watt amp hour battery with 32 hours of battery life so make sure you get the higher end one if you need more battery life with this being a Copilot Plus PC you get the Copilot button on the keyboard here and again this one open up Copilot here again you can do this with inside most PCs with Windows 11 Pro on them or Windows 11 Home and again, this is using Copilot, but these sort of laptops are designed to be AI enhanced, which means just all for AI really. And you're going to get that recall feature if that's a feature that you really want on your PC. But again, Copilot, a lot of people use Copilot and also uh, use these AI features. If you're one of these people that love AI, then you're going to love this particular laptop. Now, with this being an early release sample that ASUS have sent me out for review, I'm limited to what I can actually show you because it's an engineer sample, so I can't show you any sort of uh, benchmarks as of yet. But again, I've showed you what I can show you in this video. It should give you a good idea of what this actual laptop is and what it can actually do. There's loads more stuff that you can actually do with this laptop. I'll try and leave all the links and information down in the video description. Now this is a pretty powerful laptop and this is only the Snapdragon X Plus version. There is the Snapdragon X Elite version which has 12 cores and 12 threads which is pretty powerful for a laptop. Again you're getting an OLED screen here which is absolutely beautiful to look at. You've got really good viewing angles on this as well. So if you're into your movies and you're into uh, your streaming and stuff like that content creation or maybe you're into uh, typing it does everything you needed to do it's small portable and lightweight i really do like it anyway with that said i'm waffling and i'm going to end this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i'll leave all the links and information in the video description and i shall catch you in the very next video thanks again for watching bye for now